DJ Erickson. I'm a second year instructor of Hibby Community College in the ITNS program. Hi, I'm Joy Shelby. I am the first year IT networking and security instructor at Hibben Community College. In the first year classes, what we usually like uh, to start with, we like to make students get more comfortable with the hardware and the software parts, uh, assembling computers, assembling back the computers, knowing what components, what are they responsible for. Not only that, but uh, more in-depth and more in-depth analysis of computers, uh, individual components, systems and how they all work together and communicate. We get students all the time, people with a lot of knowledge in IT and people who might not have any knowledge in IT but they are interested and whether a student has a lot of IT knowledge or none, we are still able to make sure that they reach the level of the IT professional that recruiters are looking for nowadays. Our ITNS program is set up uh, not only to teach students a wide array of topics, uh, but also a lot of these classes are matched up with industry standards and third-party uh, vendor certificates. So not only can you leave our program with uh, an AAS or an AA, but you also can leave with multiple certificates setting you apart from other the world that we live in today, technology is constantly advancing every single day. And the only way that we can become and we can make sure our students become the perfect IT professional is to make sure that they stay up to date and we keep our content up to date as well. And by you getting these certifications, these certifications are recognized worldwide and our students, when they go and apply for jobs, these certifications look really good on the resume and it makes them stand out than the other students who are applying for the same job. Joyce, what's your feelings with the ITNS program in this environment? Uh, definitely things are very different than um, how we have always been used to in the past couple of years. But um, I think we are doing a, a great job as, as a campus and as a department. We, we have, for our lectures, we do a, a complete online using Zoom where our students can ask questions, we can do break rooms, um, they, you can have certain reactions on Zoom so this way the students are still interacting with each other and they feel like they are part of a classroom even though we are not physically in the classroom. Uh, for the hands-on projects or our lab time, we meet on campus and this is where all the work and all the information that we got uh, on the lecture, we put it to practice and the students really master it. They ask all the questions and uh, it's, a, it's a good way to adapt and be able to change and always be on your toes and this is something that could help when you graduate. The ITMS program is very special and unique and its ability uh, to be very flexible with students' lives and their actual events is occurring right now on their lives so in regards to our program here we can actually transition fairly easily to online and a lot of our uh, special software allows students to have that unique ability on um, hands-on laboratory to do that at home on their own time and then we're just very flexible with students uh, what they have going on uh, and their ability to move in and out of the classroom as they uh, feel so for the individual student. I think our small size classrooms, they help a lot in that transition yeah. and being able to move all that work online. Mm -hmm. uh, with our small size classrooms, uh, it's a great advantage to both the students and the instructors because in this way, students are able to um, express their goals or be able, because every student that comes to having community college, everyone has different knowledge levels. So with a small size classroom, each student can express where they want to be, what their goals are, and then instructors are able to pay close attention to what their needs are and how to make sure they reach the goal that they want to. Yeah, as far as uh, students coming in with individual uh, interests, we can really tailor in, uh, special instructions to that student to help them push in the direction that they want to go in. Let's
talk a little bit about your first year classes. So um, our first year classes um, make sure that students get comfortable or get a really good idea of what IT is and that happens within months and this is a we are constantly working and students are constantly working to make sure that they become the IT professional that they want and once they're done with first year classes they take all these skills and everything they have learned and make sure to advance them even further in their second year classes so that when they graduate they are able to put these skills um, in their jobs. But some of the first year classes that we offer, um, IT Essentials, IT Essentials, uh, they're split into two classes, one and two, where we go, it's, it's a very, IT Essentials one and two covers almost every single aspect related to IT. Um, all the different fields that you can work in, they cover virtualization, uh, cloud computing, um, hardware, software parts, operating systems on phones, just to really understand what IT really means and what being in an IT field means to you as a person. Um, another class that we offer is Windows Operating System. Windows Operating System dives a lot about what an operating system is, how does Windows work, how to troubleshoot Windows, really getting comfortable and knowing all the back doors of Windows to be able to really master it. Uh, then we have virtu uh, virtual computing. Uh, students learn how to what a virtual machine is, how to create virtual machines, how to maintain them, and so forth. Um, and then we have our Linux courses. Uh, our Linux courses are introduction to Linux, whether you have a lot of knowledge in Linux or you have never used it before, we go, it's still an entry level where we get familiar with Linux, how to install it, how to maintain it. It's uh, Linux can be a little bit different than the other operating systems, so it's, uh, but it's a very, uh, it's the second most used operating system in the world so it's and a lot of recruiters are constantly looking for students and future employees who are comfortable and are familiar with the Linux operating system and we also have our Oracle programming class our Oracle programming class uh, where we learn how to program in SQL and maintain databases and that again is another field in the IT the, uh, the IT field that a lot of students like getting into. Well, the once students leave the first year program or the first year classes with Joyce, we enter into the second year courses of the ITNS program. Some main courses would be digital forensics, information assurance, and then the substance of that, I would say 67% is based on the Cisco routing and switching, uh, trying to gear students to the CCNA and also the CCT, Cisco Certified Technician and Cisco Certified Network Associate uh, Certificates. So majority of the substance of the second year is Cisco. Uh, for students that may not know what Cisco is, it's a very well-regarded industry-leading certificate and it goes into basically how the internet works. So if we have an organization or a business that needs to send information to a different country, how does that information transverse different networks, different vendors, um, and then real, and then get into that destination in a secure, encrypted format. I went into the IT department because I saw it was a uh, oh, a career that wasn't going to die out anytime soon considering the fact that most of our equipment nowadays has a computer in um, or a computer in it and also I chose heavy because it was affordable and it allows for a quicker time in college so you can get right into the workforce as soon as you're done. I chose heavy because I was thinking of getting an AA anyway and anywhere else an AA is anywhere from two to two and a half grand. Here at Hibbing, it's three grand, you get the AA, and you get a very usable diploma, which can make good money should you decide that whatever you're going into after isn't what you want. 
Uh, I chose Sibbing because it's a very cheap and convenient college. Um, the people here are very nice and kind and cooperative with you if you have any questions, you know, they're always offering help and stuff like that. The experience has been great. Everyone's really nice here and especially because the classes are small, you can really get to know some of the people in your class and get more friends. Yeah, it's more hands-on than most traditional colleges because you have to deal with lectures and then you barely get any hands-on time. Overall, the experience has been really good. Like John said, it's very hands-on, which is a nice change from what you're used to coming out of high school as the teachers just talk at you and expect you to learn. This one, with the small class sizes, our instructor Joyce is really able to get down there with us and if we're having a problem, she helps us line by line of code figure out what's wrong. And it's really a nice change. So I would highly recommend this program because of the fact that one, it's affordable, two, everyone's really nice around here, and also the instructors really want to help you so you can succeed in what you're doing. And also, even if you don't have much computer knowledge, they really teach you along the way what to do and how to work it out. Our teacher helps us a lot. There's a lot of students here who haven't built a computer before, but then on our first day, we disassembled one, put it back together. We got that hands-on experience and we had the support we needed. Hello, my name is Sarah. I'm 27 and I'm a first year student here at HCC in the ITNS program. So one of the greatest things about the ITNS program is that our classes are very small. The main thing is we get a lot more hands-on with our, with our instructor which is something like for me personally, I need, I'm more of a kinetic learner. I chose Hibbing Community College at first because I knew somebody personally who graduated this program and he was able to successfully get a job to being a server administrator. And he always had a lot of fun. So when we met and he was working there, he'd bring his work home with him. You know, he'd open up his laptop and I'd see all these cool things that he could do. And I knew about computers, but I wanted to learn all of that. jobs as network administrator, system administrator, system technician, and IT technician. Students can also get other jobs in the IT industry in, in database management and computer forensics. Not only can they start there with their career, with their career but they can actually transfer to Bemidji State and Hibbing has an accreditation program with them so they can take their two-year ITNS program with us, uh, get those skills, find a job and then, or they go right to Bemidji State and get a four-year degree in applied engineering and project management with a backbone or background education in technology. So very, very exciting things. The IT networking and security program at Hibbing Community College is perfect for you if you are interested in IT, have any or no IT knowledge, or for small classroom sizes, want to get a lot of hands-on lab experience, interested in getting worldwide recognized certifications in IT. If that is you, then we are so excited for you to become part of our campus and department. See you next fall.